Hello, you all. You already know what we about to get into. We finna get into these reads. See what our Elohim would like us to know at this time. Y'all gotta read this energy. <laughs> and y'all was trying to pray it away because I ain't wanna feel it, but this is the only way it's gonna leave. <laughs> It's the only way it's gonna leave. So let's see what's going on with somebody. Somebody could be feeling scared. Like somebody's spooked. So let's see what's going on with this. Somebody is spooked like a mother. And I ain't, so I can't sit with it no more. I tried, I tried, I tried. So let's see what our Elohim wants us to know at this time. Somebody could be scared. We got the Eight of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and the Page of Cups with the emperor somebody could be scared to separate from a child somebody could be scared to lose a child um i do see somebody somebody trying to escape some sort of loss that's what it is somebody trying to give a gift to, to escape some sort of suffering that they're going to have to feel. And it may be a loss of a child. It's the father. Oh, man. That's what somebody's scared of. Whew. And I mean, shook, shook. Is that what it is? Yeah, somebody's scared to lose their child, which is understandable. Yeah, I, I, yeah, that's, I get it. I get it. And that's what somebody is trying to escape. Losing their child. Damn. Is this just separation or is this like lose lose? Is this just some form of separation? No. Somebody don't want their child to pass. Yeah. Mmm. And this person is trying to give a gift or make an offering so that this won't happen. So somebody's scared. Somebody, some somehow, somebody know their child might end up passing away. Whew. This this heavy. This heavy. Yeah, death is here. Death is around. I was just circling. Death was right at the top. Somebody could be praying, hoping, wishing right up under the death is the star. Five of Wands. Somebody could be fighting through prayer. Fighting through prayer. It's the five of wands. Mm. I'm trying not to cry. I 
I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I'm trying not to cry. Like, <sighs> this is a heavy reading. And somebody did something sneaky and underhanded to stab somebody in the back. This person is either, they both could be in a cult, or this person is attached to somebody that's in a cult or attached to some type of community that does bullshit here. Something is hidden secret community, secret society, uh, cult, somebody could have went to like a voodoo priest or some shit, and somebody did something very deceptive, and it looked like it's this woman, there could be some type of arguments, and, and fights, but somebody is secretly worried about the well-being of their partnership and their family, which is understandable. Who was doing the bull crap? Um, was it this masculine that was doing something that would cause the loss of his child? Was it this feminine, this baby mother here that was doing something that would cause the loss of his child? Yes. This person did something foul. This person did something deceptive. This is sad. The signs between this masculine, this woman, and this child. I see Aries, I see Pisces, I see Scorpio, I see Cancer, I see Taurus, Libra, Aquarius, Virgo. They could have them signs in their sun sign, moon sign, this family. Let's see. What else we need to know? This is this is this is most definitely heavy. I ain't even gonna lie, I can't even front. burdens wheel of fortune somebody is burdened with the karma that they might have to receive to the point where somebody is thinking about making some sort of offer giving some sort of gift or some sort of partnership but I don't think that that will I don't think it'll help. It's the will of fortune. This is I, this may be faded. Somebody is definitely trying to change something though. Maybe somebody tried to change somebody's will of fortune. And that's just like a no no. Like don't know. You got Sagittarius, Leo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Pisces. Somebody is in regret. And then the hangman was sticking up in the back. Somebody, somebody could have made some sort of sacrifice in a you owe a soul. Because whatever or whomever the sacrifice was made on, you didn't get that. 
and this the type of stuff like I just really want to cry because this the type of shit I be talking about and then sometimes y'all think that I'm mean or oh look how she's talking but sometimes when certain stuff come across this table y'all don't understand how it ain't even about being mean sometimes you know you you give the message raw to just get across to somebody just for it to reach somebody before something like this could occur y'all think people be sitting up here talking for their health saying oh don't do that black magic don't make that sacrifice don't do that. Hey, put that down. Y'all think somebody just be talking shit just for the fuck of it. Y'all have no control over what happens when y'all do that type of shit. And I be telling y'all that. And the innocent people got to pay. Because of y'all decisions. Because you have no control on how it boomerangs back. Because it belongs to y'all. This death, it belongs to this woman. She called it. It belongs to her. Continue to pray. You never know. I'm not going to tell you not to pray. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, you know what I'm saying? Continue to pray. You never know. You never know. Just continue to pray over the child. You got the tower here.
look like somebody was celebrating with their friends with sacrificing another person and going against them. Somebody had fun. Somebody, this this woman was having fun with her friends sacrificing people and trying to change other people's destiny in the courses of their life. And this woman celebrated that. Going against other people. I, it's so unfortunate, this situation, but. They owe. What about all the other people this person sacrificed? And or tried to. What about them? What about their families? These people took action to go against the grain, and not only did they sit around and do it, but they celebrated it. This was fun, and now it's not fun no more because this woman then got pregnant and or had a child. Now it's not fun no more because you don't want to lose your child. I don't have much to say. bewitching these people thought it was cool to be witches and, and, and brew up shit and then they use their voices to chant things They brewed up things. They used their voices. Witch. Graveyard. Death magic. Sacrificing people. Did these people actually put people in the graveyard from what they did? Have these people been able to put people in the graveyard from the stuff that they did? Yep. Yep. Y'all did. But it also looks like y'all ran into y'all karma. Y'all tried to sacrifice the wrong person. They're all wrong to try to sacrifice, but y'all sac y'all tried to sacrifice a chosen. Somebody just chosen. That's what y'all did. Anything else? Last three shuffles.
And then y'all tried to pull the veil over people's eyes. Even tried to tie people to grief and suffering and nothingness and mourning. Trying to put people, trying to have people lost in illusion. Storms. Death. And y'all celebrated it. I don't know. I don't know what to tell y'all. Y'all can keep praying and see what the divine to do for you. I just I don't know what else to tell y'all. Don't look like there's much that y'all can do, but ain't no harm in trying. I want to get out of this read. And now the feelings that I was feeling, all of that energy, is gone. Horror hunt confirmation. So this is just heavy on somebody that they may, they may end up losing a child because of the sins of the mother. This woman caused a lot of chaos. I'm still going to pull a grateful heart message because it's always something to be grateful for. You know, the, the people's lives that were taken and messed with. Some people are going to even get justice and death. We have here, Yahweh is our refuge and strength, a very present help when in trouble. Yahweh is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? Yahweh is a stronghold of my life, whom shall I be afraid? Yahweh has done amazing things for us with joy. A state of mind that sees Yahweh in everything is evidence of growth and grace and a thankful heart. We thank you, O Yahweh. We give thanks because you are near. This is, um, this is disheartening. But, um, I hope you all got a message from this read that'll help you along your journey. Know that Yahweh loves you. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Peace.